What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you a little secret that I use when using Claude to help me get more SEO optimized content and content that will be more likely to outrank competitors and rank on the first page of Google. So the first thing that I do is I feed a bunch of information into Claude to tell it what it needs to do in order to create SEO optimized content. And the way that I got this information was I simply went on Google and I searched up how to write SEO optimized content. A lot of this is stuff that we may already know, but you can find some real um, tidbits and information here that will allow the AI and steer the AI in the right direction when it comes to writing SEO optimized content. So I first um, copied some content over from the SEO writing blog from HubSpot. So I copied over some information when it comes to optimizing your content, creating a clickable header, including your keywords within your blog post naturally. And then I pasted that content into Claude. I repeated the same process for a couple of different blog posts. This one's from marketermilk.com. I, I didn't copy over the full article, but I went ahead and I skimmed through and whatever was the most important and information that wasn't repetitive, I copied over that information and pasted it into um, Claude. And I just repeated this process for a couple of different blog posts, which um, writes about writing SEO optimized content. So I copied some content over from WP Beginner and from Backlinko, and I was able to get a really, really comprehensive um, instructions guide that Claude can use to be able to write more SEO optimized content. So, so here is the content that I pasted in, and then I told Claude that I want you to read all of the information below and use it when we are writing SEO optimized blog posts to rank for specific keywords. So for now, I just want you to read and keep this information until the next step where we will actually write the article. So that is kind of priming the AI. It tells me that it understands and it's able to give me a nice summary of um, those specific instructions. And then I went ahead and added some more instructions into um, Claude just so that it has everything that we need to write SEO optimized content. So once I primed the AI and I gave it and fed it information about writing SEO optimized content, I then asked it to use the recommendations and tips above to write me an SEO optimized blog post outline for an SEO blog post targeting the keyword how to become an AI business consultant. So first, what I did was I generated um, an outline first. I didn't want to generate the full article. I wanted to get the outline first and then use that outline to generate the full article because I find that you're able to get longer, more in-depth outputs by doing so. So once it generated the outline, I then told it to write me the full SEO optimized blog post, starting with the intro first, then I will tell you when to move on. Remember to include all of the SEO Remember to include all of the SEO recommendations right in simple, easy to read style and write in Markdown. So again, I'm just reminding the AI to follow the instructions. And I also wanted it to write section by section because again, we can get more in-depth um, content. So this is the intro about how to become an AI business consultant in 2023, the complete guide. Once it finished that intro, then I went ahead and told it to write the second section, the third section, the fourth section, and lastly, sorry, the fifth section, and then lastly, the conclusion. So overall, it was able to write us a pretty decent um, output. We get some nice lists. It's a very skimmable article. There's not very large paragraphs. It's like two or three sentences, and it kind of covers the topic pretty well. It talks about different ways in which you can become an AI business consultant. So once that content was finished generating, I went ahead and converted it into HTML. This is what the article looks like. Once it's converted, so you're able to see the bullet points, you're able to see the H1s, H2s, and so on. So once that's finished, I then went ahead and pasted that content into Neuron Writer to see what is your content optimization score. And I also added in a title and a meta tag. So I generated the title and meta by just asking Claude to generate a title and a meta description for this specific blog post. And I just used whatever Claude gave us. So without doing any further optimizations, we were able to get a score of 62, which is already better than the competitor's best. Right now, the top ranked blog posts or the average of the top ranked blog posts is 61 in terms of content optimization. And we're already at a 62. So that's a great, great start. So now we can actually go ahead and do some custom um, optimization. So the first thing that we want to do is actually optimize our H1 tag. So right now we can see that there's some space for us to optimize this h1 tag right here so first i'm going to add in the keyword ai consulting because as we can see here it's not um, included and we go from 62 to 65 so that's pretty good 
Now let's go ahead and see some other ways in which we can optimize this H1. So after optimizing the H1, we were able to get a little bit of a bump in our content optimization score. So now we're at a 65. So let's go ahead and see what else we can optimize. So we can optimize our H2. So this is our H1. If we scroll down, this will be our first H2, which talks about getting the right education and training to become an AI consultant. Okay, so I've went through and optimized as many of the H2s as I can. Some of them are not being um, recognized by New and Writer. But let's say, for example, you have another section that you need to add and you don't have that section. What you can simply do is, so we see ChatGPT prompts and use cases in, is included within our H2s here, but that wasn't included originally within our article. So if you have an H2, you can just go ahead and go back over to Claude and tell it to write a section about this topic. And Claude will pick up from where you left off and write you a section that you can include within your article. And once you have that content, you can go ahead and copy that over and paste it into um, New End Writer. So as you can see here, we're able to get a pretty decent um, output and we did get a bump up. So we have a content optimization score of 69. As you can see here, we were able to get a pretty optimized content using Claude and New End Writer, and we really didn't do any manual optimizations. Yes, we added in a couple of different words, but um, most of the heavy lifting was done by Claude. And the reason why I really like Claude is because it's completely free to use. So you can input as much information as you like. It has a hundred thousand um, token limit, so it can ingest a lot, a lot of information and then use that information to help you write better content. So I hope that you guys enjoy this little trick that I use when writing SEO optimized content with Claude. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it, if it's useful, and if you can use it within your own content writing strategy to help you write better SEO content. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.